Today's topic is positive power and surprising people. I'm going to leave God's message with this topic. Luke chapter 19 is about Zacchaeus, one of the tax collectors. Jesus called him and Zacchaeus changed his life. In this chapter, Jesus did not mention any God's message or any miracles he had done. What he had done is that Jesus just praised Jackers and accepted what Jackers had done. His job is a chief tax collector who gathered the tax from Israelites. All Israelites disliked him because he gathered money from all Israelites. He was one of the workers for romance. The behavior of Jackers was shown and Jesus praised him. Also, Jesus gave the positive word to Jackers. Now, we are going to see the definition of praising and we are going to look three points what we have to do. The first one is that we need to receive praises through observation. The second one is that praising is healing. The last point is to take the out of the best ones in our life. The first one is that we need to observe others through our eyes. So it means that we have to observe others' behavior and we need to praise them. Luke chapter 90, verse 3 to 5. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he went ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Jacobs, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. What Jesus had done, he wanted to see him. Jesus wanted to see Jacobs. From this verse, he point that Jesus wanted to see. From Jesus' behavior, we have to look others. We need to see others through our eyes. Sometimes we miss it, what others have done. The definition of praise means that when people do good things, we have to mention what others have done. When we praise, we can give all good words to others, but some people make their own way to praise others. It is called manipulation. Manipulation means to make your words to give them happy. But it focuses on, on true things. This means that we have to focus on the true ones and we have to praise others with the heart. I'll give you one example. Some parents immigrated to America and they raised their children. Some of their children can speak Korean and English. They speak bilingual. Some of children speak I hate chakhe. This means that I hate kindness. They speak English and Korean in one sentence. Some people praise. They think that why do they praise? Some people are afraid receiving praisings from others. But we need to keep praising others. So what we have to do, we have to see others. 
And when you find something from their closest or their behavior, we have to point out what they had done in the good points. Some people see others deals with weakness. When you look at them, they are doing with the weak people, we have to praise them and we have to give the good word to make them happy. Some people face to crisis or troubles, but when they are in troubles, we have to help them and we have to give them comfort. We have to base on the true things with the praising. In Korea, some of Koreans rarely praise others. But we as Christians, we have to look Jesus. Jesus praised Jacobs. Jesus said, Come down, and I will stay in your house today. He suggests that he like to have meals with Jacobs. Jesus came to Jacobs, and he asked, I would like to have dinners with you. From Jesus signing, Jacobs felt happy to stay with him. People who like to praise others, encourage others, but these people are stronger than others who do not praise. From other points, people who like to praise showed not having inferiority, they already overcame any competitions with others. They do not like to compete with others. Some people feel a sense of inferiority comparing to others. They have to show their others. But we as Christians do not have to do that. Rather than we have to praise others, we have to recognize others and we have to accept them as they are. When you praise others, we receive some benefits in our life. The first one is that when you praise others, we receive the blessing in our life. Sometimes we receive some blessings from others. When someone pass over, they give their properties to others. Normally, it is successions of properties to their children. I'll give you one example. There is a company. There is a senior. The senior shows their pride or wealth. So most co-workers dislike him. On the other hand, there is another senior. He's diligent and he always makes the, his effort. So when the CEO watched two seniors, I think the senior give his positions to the diligent seniors. From praising, people receive the good points. It makes more benefits in their life. Realistic benefits can be influenced on us. I'll give you one story. There is one American ambassador to Korea. His name is James Rainey. James Rainey was a principal at Emory University, which is located in Atlanta. Actually, he is a pastor, but he worked as principal at university in 1994 to 
from his past story, he walked on the street and he met an old man. It was happening and one day from his story when I read it gives me some insight in our church there are many young people some of them are looking for their partner to get married but some of them rarely have a date with any partners. So what I suggest is that do not drive or do not take any cars to have a date. When you check transportation, you can meet others and you can meet one of the partners and enjoy a date. For James Rayner, his story is amazing. He walked on the street and he met the old man. Then they have enjoyable conversations for two hours. From the date, James open met him and have conversations for two hours. Each day. Later, James realized the old man was the CEO on Coca Cola Corporate. The old man suggested he would like to give $2.5 billion from his property. Also, he liked to give 3% of his company properties as well. What James had done, he received the money and donated the all to the university. He received the great points and received the good benefits in his life. From this point, we have to remember praising is an observation. When you look at others, it can make change and it can make you be happy. The second point is that it is a power of healing. Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 2. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Jacobs. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. From this point, Jesus praised Jacobs and he makes Jacobs feel happy. He liked to bring Jesus to his house. Luke chapter 19, verse 6, So he came down at once and welcomed him gradually. From these verses, we can see when Jesus met Jacobs, Jacobs received all happiness and changed his life. Listening to praise too much doesn't make people feel bored. People like to listen to good words from others. When people point out weakness or bad attitude, they do not want to listen. So we have to speak the good words to others. One of the Korean songs is described the word of praising the title is The Word in Love. The word in song is that hearing more than 1,000 times makes me feel happy. The words are, I love you. When people praise with a great word, it makes people feel happy. People easily feel lack of confidence. 
When they feel their weakness, they often give up their mind or their decision. Especially women often lose their confidence rather than men. Most women focus on their external appearance. They like to wear good clothes and do makeup on their face. They like to show their outer appearance to others. They cannot overcome their fear. With praising, people easily overcome their worries or fears. From Jacob's story, we can see Jacob also had his weakness. But when Jesus came to him, he overcame. We have to praise others as much as we can. I heard some story. Some people like to go to church. The church is alternative because they believe in the heresy. They are not Christians. They are not Buddhists. They believe the other gods that people created. In the church, in heresy, welcome to others, and they praise others all the time. That's why people like to go. But some church do not show any kindness. They like to point out their sins, and they push the others to repent. Most people like to listen to good words or positive words, and also they like to receive love. There are some men who have not received any love from women. They easily feel jealous, and they try to behave badly. Like men, women also do as well. We have to show our love to others, and we have to behave kindly. People who do not have any love show their discouragement. Especially, most parents behave kindly. When their children perform well, they mention any word. They do not say any word to their children. However, when their children make a mistake, they come and point out directly. When their children listen to negative words, they behave badly. When we say others perform as well, especially parents, they have to show kindly and positively. So children follow what their parents have done. In our world, people do not say, and they just say what they want to. But I want to suggest to all women, they have to speak what they want to like to do. They think most men can see, but actually men do not. I'll give you one story. His name is Jerry Twentier. Actually, today's title is from his book. The name of the book is Positive Words of Praising People. From his story, the content is that it was a windy and raining day. He opened the letter box and he found one letter. He received a letter from his best friend. When he opened his letter, he was impressed by the letter. The letter said, 
How have you been, Jerry? I'm fine. When you read the words, he realized one sentence. The sentence said that I'm missing you so much. I want to let you know how much I miss you. When you read the words, the letter was touched his heart. When you realize the words, he can overcome from his troubles. With some words, some words makes people happy, while negative words makes people worse. We have to express any words to make them happy. With the praising, all churches can change. The last point is that we need to take our best things from our life. Luke chapter 19, verse 8 to 9, but Jacob stood in and said to the Lord, Luke, Lord, here and now I'll give half of my positions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation was come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. Jacob repent his sins, and he accepts what he had done. He liked to give all his belongings to the poor. With Jesus praising, we can see Jacob's change. We know Pharisees. Pharisees rarely change their minds. They just follow their behavior. They say, I just come to service. I just listen to your words. They just perform from external surrounding. But Jackers is different. Jackers as tax collector perform politely, and he knew what he had done to others. We have to make one strategy to do better. How can people praise and help them to raise? We do not accept others to do better. Some people do not accept others to do better. What strategy we need? People do good things and say, to do better and praise others. Do you know the meaning of Hydra? Hydra means an Aryan. The Aryan cuts a head, but it makes two heads. Hydra refers to make two parts from cutting one thing. We have to praise good points, but sometimes people show the two different things. There are some church members. Some church members listen to God's message, but some church members do not. In the sermon, I can see all church members in this service. In the front seat, most church members sit and listen to my voice. They listen to God's message deeply. However, some people at the back rarely listen to me. I do not know they are listening or not. But in this situation, there are one church member. He cannot concentrate and disturb others. During this sermon, when I focus on the one church members, I cannot keep this sermon because I focus on the one person. 
I'll give you one example. It is in Chuncheon, which is one of the cities in Korea. In the place, it is about University of Harlem. I talked one of the lecturers from the university when I was a uh, missionary school students. One of the lecturers suggested me to reach Byung-Wook's essays. Byung-Wook aunt is one of the lecturers who works in Hanim University. I ask some of the lecturers why I have to read lecturer aunt's essay. And the lecturer replied that his story is triple words. And when you want to make the good sermon, you have to read his books. Then you can receive the insight what sermon is. I'm trying to read his books and I realize his book is really amazing. He is famous for writing essays. Most essays contain true story and true emotions. Anyone who likes to speak good words, I suggest to read Byung Wook An's essay. His book is really good. The lecturer has one son. His name is Dong Guk An. I have a chance to have a conversation with his son. I ask him why Byung Wook An is so famous and what is the story about his life. His son said, My father always behave kindly. When he went to Korean restaurant or Japanese restaurant, any restaurant he went, he looked any waiter or waitress, and then he called the managers. He asked the managers to receive the name of the waiter or waitress. When he get the names, he wrote on his notch. After a few days, he came back and he called the manager again and he said, I would like to receive the good service from this waiter or waitress. From this time, the managers received the good impressions and also he liked to provide the good service to Mr. An. So he always behaved politely and he trying to look others to make a good point. For me, I often travel overseas. When I travel long distance, I ask some students on the flight. Sometimes I give them a valuable pants and deliver a God's message. I say, believe Jesus. I'm trying to give the best service to them. Sometimes I receive the best service on the flight. We have to accept what they are. We're trying to look others and make a good points what have done. Especially men like to be accepted from others. Jesus accepts as Jacques is. Jacques came to Jesus and he repent his sins. We know the gospel that Jesus crucified on the cross. We have to be polite and 
we have to provide the best service to others. In our life, we need to spread the God's message and the gospel. And I want you to be true Christians.